I'm going to work on the ears next and come down into the head. So the first thing I need to do is make sure I understand which ear is the front and which is back. So this ear here, the front of this head, becomes the back of this ear here. So there's wood to come away there. The front of this ear becomes the back of this ear here. So I've decided which bits go down. And I'm going to run my V tool here like this. So this now separates off one ear from the next. I'll we'll come along here. And we can come this way on this one. So those are now my three ears. And um, I'm going to take some wood back here. So as I come back here, I'm going behind this ear, but I've got to rise up to be the front of this ear. So I'm the top of this ear here, I'm rising down the back of this ear there. So there's a little twisting hill thing going on here. And then this one here comes over this way. So now I've got the, the planes of the ears decided. What I'm going to do is just give them some shape. So I'm going to round this over, <coughs> round this bit here. So this becomes the, the front edge of that rabbit's head there, or the, sorry, the hare's head. I keep saying rabbit, and that's entirely Carrie's fault. She's been calling it rabbits. I believe it's just hair. So that's one part I'll come over here. So this is going to be a rounded bit here because it's more fat here. Um, and then let me just separate that here off. I should set that in here. So that's now a nice sharp edge to that here. There we go. So what I want to do now is hollow out some of this here, here. But the strange thing is, of course, the front of this here becomes pretty much the back of that here. So I don't want to follow these all the way along. So I just come along here a bit. Now I've just damaged that edge by dropping the corner. So I need to repair that. So I dig in here, make a nice hollow in this bit feather it out over there. So my decisions, <laughs> now that I've made them, are that, let me just repair that little bit here. So this is the front edge and this is rounded here, but becomes flat as it becomes behind that ear there. Go quite down, quite towards the back down there. This, this side here is a bit sharper. So this is a bit rounded, a bit sharper, but then as it comes along here, it's going to go round over like that. So that's now the back of that here. here. So I'm going to do the same on all of them. Just feather that out. This is a tricky bit of carving because of the optical illusion. You've got the front of this ear becoming the back ear on this on this hair. So that so you've got this sort of um, optical illusion going on. It's also been a little bit tricky to film. But let me just say a few pointers. I've I use this number ten gouge, which has steeper sides, in this top edge here, and I've decided that I'm going to make the the ridge mainly here on this top edge and I tilted this over so this is scooped out there and the same here top edge scooped out there top edge scooped out there what we're trying to get is a consistency so um, the the three especially as we get towards the center here the three look alike and the optically you know you get this really nice uh, rhythm going on 
We have to bring this ear down behind there, so make sure that this part here is nicely um, and sharply cut. So we've got a definite sense of this ear in front of this one. And we can bring this corner quite close to the background here. So make full use of that depth. It looks a bit odd here because we've got the back of this tail, but this, this ear will come along here and be a bit thinner there. And that's my next job is to make more of this and to finish this off and come round into the head. Same here, this will come round into the head. And I'll try and get each one of these looking pretty much the same. They're three different hairs, um, I have no problem with that, but I want them to look like a little family. So get your carving like this and then we can move on to um, this section here, the beginning of the head and rounding this over. Here's a finished tail. The reason I've got a tail in here uh, among other reasons, is because I don't want a little dead area in there that I have to clear out. Um, so that's a good carving practice, is not to give yourself more work than you need. Anyway, to create the tail here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start coming over the top of the head this way, like so. And this tool here, I can pick to match this one over here. So again, consistency. I'm going to swing this round. Like so. Then the top of the head here, I've already rounded over a little bit, so that's rounded this way to match into that, that back leg. I'm going to take a gouge and cut this mess here at an angle like this. I'm going to cut this along there like that. Remove that wood. And you can see the, the back edge of the tail starting to appear. So it's running right into the ear. Take that corner out. And then coming back to that original tool, if I can find it, is I'm going to come this way and create a Sort of little berm of wood there. So I'm going to use something a bit smaller to tidy that up. So there's the tail coming along here. Comes down and, and along the rabbit, uh, along the hair a little bit. So it's coming along here. And then to finish the ends off, what I do is I just take a uh, a narrow gouge, something like a, oh what have we got here, if I can find it again. Yep, there it is. So I take a, a narrow gouge like this, something like that, and just clip off the end of the tail. I'm going to clip it off like, like that. I push that corner in, push that corner in there, and then just take out that little bit there. So a little bit of a shadow at the back, and I can tidy that up along here. And that will be effectively, when I've cleaned up a little bit, how the tail runs. So that will run along there and underneath the ear there. So the other thing we need to do is make sure we've got um, a, a, a neck here. So what I want to do is, first of all, I've got a line for the bottom of the jowls here, so I'm going to put that in there. So a little cut there, which is on my drawing, so I can do that similarly. Then I'm going to round over the neck. So get a little. So this this is high, comes down over here and behind the ear. So there's definitely a, a, a shoulders, neck, head sort of rhythm going on there back over here and then I'm going to round over the muzzle and the, the snout like this. So what I'm left with in the head will be just the eye. And that'll be the last thing we'll put in when we do the details. So I can clean up some of this over here down into the here. Not much wood to come off, 
for just marrying everything together. So this back here, perhaps a bit lower. Marrying that into that here. It's so around like that. So I have to adjust that bit again here a little bit. And then uh, cleaning off the, the pa paper over here, cleaning it up, just leaving that little bit there. So lastly, when I've cleaned all this up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stab this ear here, this corner like that. That just separates the ears off and I've done that in the same place for all of them and I've also stabbed in this line here so as that's come out I've, made, I've actually pushed the corner in there and in there and that just gives a little bit of a, an accent in there okay so I'm going to clean that up and then we're just left with the with the eyes